So here's a wild tour, tour story from the Crenshaw tour. We was actually finished with the show. The show was sold out. Um, it was good energy. Everybody was excited. So me, the security guard, and my two guys that performed with me, you know, artists I, uh, you know, make music with also, um, we went back to the bus. And as we was getting on the bus, the security guard stopped all the fans. And, um, you know, we, we got on the bus, he locked the door. And then five, 10 minutes later, one of my boys hopped up like, oh, they jumping our security. So we run outside and it turned into a melee, little dog fight. It's snowing, it's like six inches of snow. One of my partners ended up getting stabbed in the lung during the fight. His lung collapsed, you know what I mean? He made it to the hospital at the time. He, he was back on the road with us in like a week. But um, it ended up being some fans, man. And they was just so upset that the security wouldn't let them get on the bus to take pictures and, and um, you know, show love that they fired on my security guard. He dropped his gun and it almost got bad, you know? So that was definitely a wild story. So here's another wild tour story. Uh, we was just probably like 80% into the tour. We had done about 30 different cities. You know, that's really tiring after a while. It starts to weigh down on your energy. And we had just finished the show. We was all starving. Well, I was starving. I think my, my crew had ate already while I was performing. And we left the venue, got in traffic, got on the bus, and we, I didn't want to eat snacks. So I'm like, man, find me something. We end up pulling over to a McDonald's. And we in the drive through at the McDonald's. They was like, we five minutes about to close, but we'll take your order. And so, you know, the crew had been drinking and everything. That was a little bit lit. Their energy was on 10. And I was starving. I'm trying to order, and they cracking jokes in the car loud. The, the lady at the drive through couldn't hear me talking. You know, she like, man, I'm about to close. I can't, I can't take your order. I tell everybody in the car, be quiet. Let me make my order. So everybody get quiet. Right when I'm about to make my order, I say, yeah, let me have it. And they just start laughing, cracking jokes, talking about the lady that's taking my order so she wouldn't serve us no food. So everybody had ate except me, and I was hot. I wanted to kill everybody. They, they messed my meal up, couldn't get no dinner. We was in the middle of two major cities, so I had to eat little bullshit chips and snacks again for like the 30th night. So I was hot, man. I ain't talked to nobody. I wanted to fuck everybody up, you know, tour shit, though.